Good morning, everybody. I'm going to stick this in the beginning of this. Um, I'm, I'm trying to go where there's better lighting, in case you're wondering what's happening. I mean, it's a little better in here. Not, not really. It's dark and rainy and dreary this morning. Um, it is actually October 11th. So I'm sticking this at the beginning of this vlog just because I don't really have um, another opportunity to let you guys know about this. So I've, I've kind of briefly mentioned it here and there, um, but I... <laughs> I just don't want to do a dedicated video, so I'm going to stick it in here. Um, I am doing a meetup in southern Wisconsin in Fort Atkinson on Saturday, October 16th. My friend Sarah and her sister are opening a boutique, and they invited me down for their little like private event on Friday, and then for the grand opening on Saturday. So I am going to be there from 11 to 1. I will list the address and everything in the description box below for you guys. But uh, I know that there are a few of you in like the Milwaukee area um, that have wanted to, you know, come and, and wanted me to come down and actually hang out at Mayfair or something. I don't know. There's a mosquito in my house. I thought we were done with mosquitoes. <laughs> um, there is <laughs> squirrel. There, uh, I just haven't had the opportunity to make that happen um, in Milwaukee, so sorry, I had to um, grab a phone call. So I wanted to at, at least offer this up as an opportunity. I was just going to go and be, you know, part of the event, but I thought it couldn't hurt for me to let you guys know if there are any of you that wanted to come and hang out with me. Um, so I will be there again in Fort Atkinson this Saturday, October 16th from 11 to 1. Um, questions, message me, DM me on Instagram, um, if you need like direction, wh whatever I can help with, let me know. But I just wanted to stick this in here because I won't have an opportunity to tell you guys in any other way aside from, of course, on Instagram. And I know all of you aren't on Instagram. So if you're, if you are in the area and want to come up, I think even it wouldn't be too far, even if you're in, um, Northern Illinois, um, or, you know, Milwaukee area, Madison area, any of those shouldn't be too far for you. So questions, let me know. Hope you have a great day, and we'll see you in the next one. Good morning, everybody. Happy uh, Wednesday. It is 627, and uh, I can only do a quick check-in. I really need to get to the office today. <clears throat> so, um, last night I left work, ran to Lane, because I had some real women dollars to use. If you shop at Lane Bryant, you know what I'm talking about. And so there's some things that I saw when I was there the other day and earned the real women dollars I want to go and get. How I'm getting everything in my suitcase to get home, not really sure. But I'm going to get that figured out. So here's outfit of the day. This jacket I bought the other day, and I'm going to show it to you zipped up. I'll probably keep it unzipped, but I wanted to show you guys both. And then I also bought these pants there as well. They're just that, I never know if it's pont or ponte, P-O-N-T-E pants. Um, really nice. This is actually a high-waisted that stays up on me. So, anyway. And then this jacket is the same material. And then this sweater I bought a while back at Lane. I'm all about Lane today. Hold on. Alright. So, this is a short sleeve sweater. You can't really see. But just has a little pattern texture. I love the color, though. I think it's really pretty. So, this is how I will actually wear but I wanted to let you guys see both options so yeah um I don't really have much else to report I, I ran those couple oh I went to Ulta bought some things this is a new lip actually I bought I'm gonna I am gonna do a haul video that may be up before you see this I'm not sure where I am in in uh, <laughs> vlog footage but this is the Jaclyn Hill Pout Spoken in Be Brave and I just put it on for the first time. And so far it looks pretty good. We'll see how drying it is. And, but it doesn't, a lot of liquid lips will, um, actually the Red Aspen ones are the only ones that I've loved that are like matte like this because they don't make my lips look like they have a hundred more lines in them than they did before I put the lip on. Um, and this one looks pretty good so far, so we'll see. So I bought this in another shade of that bought a few other things i just kind of randomly went through all that. i haven't done that in so long um got a couple eye creams if you're on my instagram you know i was talking about that uh so yeah so that's what i did yesterday came back and had some chick-fil-a chit chatted with the with um, elise who is the front desk person 
that she's not here all the time, but she is here frequently from 3 to 11. And so she and I become friends. We just chit chat a little bit, which is nice to like sit down in the lobby. I was explaining this to a friend. I could sit down in the lobby and eat my dinner, no matter whether I was friendly with or not friendly with the front desk person. But it just, if, it's just nice that she's really nice and that I can chit chat with her while I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It just makes it coming back feel less lonely, if, I, if that makes any sense. Sometimes I just want to grab dinner or have dinner delivered and be up here and eat. And sometimes I just need some more people interaction. So anyway, uh, and then I came up and did a few things and went to bed. Not too much to report. So, um, oh, I got to check the, check the brewer's score. I meant to do that right away this morning. We were losing last I saw. Cardinals, man. Oh, if you're a Cardinals fan, God bless you. Um, yeah, we lost two to six. Ugh, goodness gracious. It's cardinals or something. Uh, okay, I'm going to go, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. It is 6.35, Thursday morning. <clears throat> I, done, I did, did something to my back. Between the time that I got up this morning and now, my lower back. Whew. I'm moving around a little gingerly, but I need to get out of here. Um, I have a lot to do before I leave for the airport at work, but I wanted to show you guys um, this outfit of the day because I had showed it in the vlog. I did not take the time to iron this blazer yet, and I probably should have right on here, but it's fine. It'll be okay. So these jeans are the Good American Always Fits jeans, and this is that shirt that I showed you guys that is going to be available at Sarah's um, Piper Mate is the name of the store, her boutique. And it's short sleeve, has a nice cuff on it, but I'm wearing it with this because it's chilly. And you know airports, yeah, it's 45 degrees right now. Or airplanes, I mean, I'm always cold on the plane. So anyway, I'm going to wear my Cole Haan tennis shoes for travel. They're my new faves. And that's that. I wish I had a longer time to do a little bit more of a check-in, but I got to get going. Good afternoon, everybody. My first check-in of the day. It's, uh... In case you couldn't make that out, it's Bob Tober. I was going to say it's about 2.30. Oh. And well, it's no Bob also, it's Bob Tober. Heaven help us all. Uh, I got a text informing me that it was Bob Tober. Yep. Um, so far, in case you're new here, first of all, welcome. Second of all, let me introduce you to the man that has created Bobtober. Actually, Emily started it. Yep. Not my fault, folks. <laughs> but I celebrate my work anniversary, our wedding anniversaries in October, and my birthdays in October. I say, and most so, importantly. I mean, what the heck? So, the first, mm -hmm. what I make sure, he has, a, he has a jingle. He'll sing for you. But let me just show you this. This, I always make sure he has this on October 1st, which is just Virginia Peanuts, and candy corn to the perfect ratio so he sends me a text today with a little jingle in it oh i forgot my but banana theme. are you gonna sing the jingle it's the most wonderful month of the year there'll be big cigars smoking and bank accounts broken but all with good cheer Cause it's the most wonderful month of the year. <laughs> I don't even know what to follow that up with. I should have been a professional songwriter. I think maybe you should have. So there you go. That's what we got for you. Um, this is what my... <laughs> I don't even know how to go on from here. Um, my it's day, speechless. It Everyone really, should be. So I did a live this morning, work, 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 work. On my lunch, I ran to get my Aldi pickup order. Because the first time I did Aldi pickup, it goes through Instacart, but it worked really well and everything was there, so that's good. And then I ran over to our local grocery store to get the things I couldn't get at Aldi there. And then um, came back here, dug back in to work, and then this one arrived. That That's pretty much the gist. And that's I the did, best part of the day. Right, it is always the best part of my day when you come home. 
Um, so we, our friends are coming for the weekend. So I don't know how much I'll vlog, a little bit here and there. A little bit. But our friends are coming for the weekend. They bit. should be here. Don and the girls will be here at 7. And Jed naming the kids will be here at 8. Um, give or take. So Jed and Amy and their kids come from the west uh, Minneapolis area. And then um, Dawn and her girls come from the south. And we meet here in the middle. So that. Now we do a camping trip in the Dells. And well, right. Yes. Also that. So anyway, so I have that kind of stuff handled. I just need to go downstairs yet and finish dusting, cleaning the bathroom, that sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. So I just thought I would do a quick check-in. I actually should um, plug the camera in as I'm thinking about it. But first, but first, like I'm Julie Chen, a little more. Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. <clears throat> I believe the last time I vlogged was Sunday or was Friday afternoon. And I'm walking slowly because I'm carrying a cup of coffee, A. Eh? And because my back is in a bad way. B. I still have stuff out in here. So, first of all, I'd like to say that, there we go, I do not appreciate the, uh, I gotta get a little fresh air, the crazy warm weather on the one hand, but on the other hand, it was really nice this weekend. So, I need to put you guys down so that I can talk to you. Um, let's put you up here. So, um, get this going so there's a light. So, um, our friend, oh, here this is. I was looking for my ponio yesterday and I couldn't find it. I brought it in here. Um, so we, our friends came, sorry, it's going to do that a few times. Our friends came about seven o'clock, the first, the first, so the southern one and then the uh, western one got there about an hour after that and we just had such a great weekend. I think I told you guys probably in vlog, I, I'm not caught up with editing even, I'm finishing the vlog before this one right now <clears throat> and um, we just haven't, I mean, we were able to camp this summer too, but there's just something different. Are we done? All right. It was driving me crazy. I'm sure it was driving you guys crazy. So a as the kids say, it just hits differently. Um, when we're all here because there's not, you know, when we're camping, there's always something we're separated here. The kids are, you know, they're off with the kids swimming or we're doing this or we're cleaning up so they can go to this or whatever. So we're together, but we're not as together as much as we are when um, they come here for this weekend. So it was just, it was good. And, you know, Amy even said in her text, she's like, it was, it's just, she said verbally. And then again, in her text, it said, just a good soul filling weekend. And it really was. Um, it's, it's tiring. For me, because it's, you know, it's my house, so I'm cooking and cleaning and stuff, and they certainly are helpful. Um, but it's just different when it's your own house. So then when they left, I did, I did mean, five loads of laundry yesterday. I had one left today, there one left that I did today because I just didn't think I could do another one yesterday. So, and it was just strip the beds, make the bed, you know what I mean? Strip the beds, wash the sheets, make the beds, wash the towels. Um, and then my own laundry on top of it. So, anywho, um, we went to Fall Fest, or no, it's called Oktoberfest now. It used to be called Fall Fest. It's called Oktoberfest now, downtown Shawnee on Saturday. And it, I mean, it was like 75 degrees. <laughs> the weather, I'm sure it has been the same way all over the country. I don't know because I haven't been able to watch any news. But um, it has been just unseasonable. We had to turn our air on on Friday. It's humid and warm. It was 85 degrees. I, I don't even know what to do with that in October. It just, I mean, it happens here and there, but it's crazy. Anyway, um, so what else is I going to tell you guys? 
I don't know. I have a few pictures that I'll stick in for you, I believe. Mostly, I took a couple of the kids at, at uh, Sean Fest. Or, it's had many names, Sean Fest, Fall Fest, and October Fest. I apologize. It's <laughs> or maybe Sean Fest got moved to June. I can't remember. At any rate, what I really need here oh, is some coffee. So, I woke up. I can't remember if I vlogged about this or not. <clears throat> I woke up Thursday and felt fine, and as I started moving around and stuff, my back really started to hurt. This is at the hotel, and it has just kind of gotten progressively worse. So I don't know what's going on. I keep, normally when my when I throw my back out or do something or whatever, I can pinpoint the why. I can't pinpoint the why this time, which is weird, but I'll live. So I've taken some meds, to, just waiting for them to kick in. Uh, so yeah, I think I brought you up to speed on everything that I wanted to tell you about. It was great. Um, Jed made bread. He has like mastered making bread. And then he also made me some, or left me some sourdough starter and put it in the fridge. So I actually have to double check with him. He gave me all the instructions, but my mind was kind of a blur as far as what, when I'm supposed to add the 50 grams of water and flour. So I have to, I have to check with him on that. But anyway, he made us this grain bread. He also brews beer. And so like the grains that were left from his beer, he put into this bread. You guys, it's so good. I'll show you later. I'll probably have a piece of toast with it later. I will sh it's so good. And he's like, yeah, he's like, probably since since the beginning of the pandemic, I've made four or 500 loaves of bread. And they don't even buy bread from the store anymore. He just makes bread. And I was like, seriously? It was so, it was just cool to, you know, he's so smart. I, I always learn something from him. Anyway, he's younger than me, but he, you know, he's, he's so smart that I, I don't know. I just want to sit down and like record him with the things that said that. Anyway. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, so I have work this week and then we leave Thursday for camping. I would really like to take Thursday off as well as Friday if I can to, or at least a half a day <clears throat> so I can get my act together because I fully do not have my act together. Just yesterday I started thinking about, well, that's not true. I started thinking about camping meals yesterday. But, like, I cut up a bunch of cheese and sausage this past weekend, knowing full well that I would have plenty for us to take camping. Um, I made some dips so that we would, you know, have veggies to take camping. Um, so I did kind of think of that. And then I made some cookies. I made the cookie dough on Friday. Never made the cookies until yesterday, just before they were leaving. Um, they were just getting ready to sit down for lunch. So I pulled out the dough so they could have some fresh baked um, chocolate chip cookies with their lunch. And then off they went, and then the rest um, I stuck in the freezer right away. And we will take those this weekend. So there you go. That's what I got for you. It's a lot of random chit chat, but I want to bring you up to speed. <clears throat> I was going to apologize. I'm not apologizing. I feel badly that I don't have content for the last few days to share with you here, but I also have learned how short life is, and that I really need to not be worried about you know getting good. You know, you know what I'm saying. If I want to just not worry about the camera for the weekend because I'm there with my friends and we haven't been able to have this weekend for two years, then that's what I want to do. Oh, and Jade made us walk too. It was a good weekend. Anyway, all right, I'm going to go and I will catch up with you guys a little bit later today. Good morning, mid-morning, give or take. Uh, it is just about 11 o'clock and I am making some lunch. My lunch is at 11. For those of you that are new here, welcome. Um, and I work East Coast hours. So I work 7 to 4. Like technically I work 7 to 4. And that means that, sorry, apparently I can't focus on just putting together a simple wrap. <laughs> Literally, it's just one of those extreme healthy wraps or whatever some cheese and salami like nothing super exciting but apparently i can't do it and talk at the same time oh i need some mustard so um it's just busy it's been busy i don't know i must have vlogged yesterday but maybe i didn't maybe i never picked up the camera i don't know but Yesterday, just Mondays are always busy with work because we have those. I have those. This 
is this is the situation here. Oh, Bobby. Uh, all right, I'm going to start this over because I feel like I just rambled for the last 15 minutes. So, hello. Happy Tuesday. Um, that's mustard that you just heard. <laughs> that I had to take the thing out of. It was a whole thing, you guys. Um, I'm just making myself arrive. It's just about 11 o'clock. I work East Coast hours, so I take my lunch at 11, which is noon for everybody at the office. Um, when I take lunch, which is really means I come out, I make my lunch, and actually it's close. It's, yeah, it's like quarter to 11. Um, and then I take it back in my office and I eat it while I work at my desk. I know that's not good for a person, but that's just the way it is. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if I vlogged yesterday or not. Uh, we had a, I think I did. I feel like I did. So I talk, I'm sure I talked about the weekend. Cutting my wrap into pieces here. Uh, yesterday was just busy with work. Monday is always super busy. We have like a weekly meeting that happens on Monday and it's just, you know, you know, you guys know how Mondays are. And, um, then we had some leftover fajitas for dinner and that's about it. Oh, I know. I FaceTime with Wilson to plan camping and because, you know, we leave Thursday, <laughs> it's Tuesday. I got I have to make my list of what I need to go buy. It's just kind of crazy. It's, it's a little bit of a crazy month, to be honest. But that's what Bob Tober will bring for you. A little bit of a crazy month. I feel like I still have mustard all over my face. I opened up the, I was trying to get mustard out of the bottle and it wasn't coming out. And I realized it was a new bottle that Bob had put in there and he didn't take like the little top thing off. So when I took it off, it spattered all over my face. That's all. Uh, yeah, not much else to report aside from the weather has turned and it is beautiful. I was going to show you guys out the, out the back door. It, um, it just looks like fall with the leaves on the ground and stuff and with the sun shining. It's very pretty. This is before any raking has occurred. But so, so, so it starts to look like quite the little coating of leaves. That one has fallen a bunch. According to the website, we are in, look at those. I show you guys these every fall. Look at those hanging plants, man. Hanging planets? No, hanging plants. They're just nearing the end. Bob just said that he's out of miracle Grow and isn't putting any more on there, which makes total sense. So, yeah. We have hit just about peak here, which is interesting. Because north of us, where we're going, it's kind of north and up a little bit, or um, east and north. They have not hit, which is odd because they're a little bit further north, but that's where we're going camping this weekend. So I'm excited about that. But all right, I'm going to put my blank back on my lap here, Get dig back into work, and I will check back in with you guys a little bit later. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. I did not pick up the camera yesterday at all. I was just... <clears throat> Just trying to keep my head above water, y'all. Um, we leave for camping today. I get my washers done. I was washing our sheets. Um, you know, I just like to come home to clean sheets. So um, we were. Let me see if I can do this one-handed. Um, I can't. Hold on. Okay. I forgot I had tossed that. This is that sage blazer that I showed at the beginning of the vlog, if I remember right. If I remember right, I, uh, I'm a little behind. I just put up the, like, the 23rd through the 28th video, and that, and then I haven't edited this stuff after that, so I just want to stay right there. Um, I'm really hungry this morning, I gotta tell you. What did we have last night, even? I don't remember what we had for dinner last night. Oh, <laughs> breakfast for dinner. We had some leftover sausages from uh, when our friends were here this weekend. So I just cut them up and scrambled up some eggs. And that's what we had for dinner. So, okay. I just paused because my work phone rang. And then I just wanted to get my act together a little bit here. So, I don't even know what I was saying. But, it's 
It's been a busy week. Per usual. Oh, look, I, got, I just got this. I ordered this on Amazon. Um, I love this. I've talked about this, like, long, long ago, but I try to get this every, one of these every, a you know, couple of these, probably, every fall and winter. Um, this is just herbal tea. It's called Lush Berry, and it's delightful. I found it on Amazon. I'm sure you can find it in a store, but there's no stores here that carry it, and I wanted to have a couple to take um, camping with us. It's not supposed to be terribly cold. For, I mean, last year, it was when we, we, when we went camping, it was a week later than this week, but this is just an odd year as far as <laughs> temperatures go. It's very warm, and I'm not complaining, but I'm trying to one-handed start my coffee here. I'm not complaining. I'm just, it's just, it's weird. It's very weird. Um, so it's going to be like a high of 68 70 something like that all of the days and I think 50s at night low like 50 something like that so it should just be perfect in my opinion camping weather I just love when I can put on a sweatshirt we can cozy up by the fire last year a lot of the time we spent in the camper because it was so cold outside and it was kind of a little bit rainy and it does look like it's gonna rain Friday but um, you guys can't tell. And I noticed that in the last time I talked about this, when I changed out the light bulb, one of the light bulbs is like shimmering is what I call it. And um, not in a good way. <laughs> but you can't tell in the vlog. Anyway, <clears throat> so it's only supposed to rain a little bit. Should be, it should be nice. We're going to plan our sort of out and about day to be Friday. We go out and we pick up the apples we get every year. And there's a place, it's called Pose in Sturgeon Bay that is a, just kind of a hole in the wall bar place, but they have just this, the best chili. So I think we're gonna plan to go for that. And yeah, we're just gonna hang out. It's gonna, it's gonna be awesome. I'm looking forward to it. Um, even if it does rain, we'll hang out in the camper and play Yahtzee, like it's all good. So yeah, so I have the last two things, my laundry basket with my clothes that I'll put out there and then another, um, Okay, seriously, these dizzy spells are starting to really drive me crazy. <clears throat> Did you see, I wonder if you'll be able to see that. Like, it sort of washes over me. Oh, it's crazy. Anyway, um, so I have the laundry basket full of stuff, ready to go out my laundry basket, and then I also have a, the tub that I have, like, blanket in, my book, that sort of thing. So, yeah, I am going to not take my work laptop. That's where I'm at right now. We'll see. There just really isn't anything I can't walk somebody through, so I'm gonna try and not take more of that. Um, looks like I need some unflavored cream. The Italian sweet cream is essentially unflavored in my opinion. And I like to have that when I have flavored coffee, and then I like to have a flavored cream with, i put you guys up here again. I like to have a flavored cream with um, unflavored coffee. It's a whole thing. So I did find one that kind of serves both purposes. It's called Glazed Donut. One of you guys actually told me about it. And so I have that in the camper for the weekend, actually. And to grab a plate my thing on. I, I, I'm trying to use <clears throat> plates instead of paper towels for things like that, like you putting my spoon on in between because a plate can be washed. Or, I don't know. I don't know what's better. Is it better to use the water to wash the plate? Is it better to use a paper towel that you're going to throw away and it's going to go in a landfill? I, I, I don't know what's better. <laughs> Just trying to do, it, do my best. Anyway, um, oh, I know. I was like, where was I going with this? So I have a new cream that I'm going to try today called Cookies and Cocoa. Um, the Coffee Mate was like hot marshmallow cocoa or something that they had used to have at the holidays. I only got it for two years, and then they did away with it. And um, I'm hoping that this will be kind of like that, but we'll see. 
It smells a little more like cookie than cocoa. <laughs> so I'll report back. Right now I gotta dive into work. I uh, am taking a half a day today, but that really means I'm gonna take a couple hours <laughs> and try to get out of here at a decent time with our friends. So I'll check in with you guys probably one more time if I can. Um, and then probably end up this vlog, even though it's not super long, just so that I can start fresh week. Mm -hmm.